All right, Lawrence, thank you. Uh, after all the power outages brought on by the stormy weather, more people have been uh, thinking about buying a portable generator to keep the lights on. Cronforce Hazik Medyun talked to an expert at a hardware store to get some advice. The lights go out during the storm. And it's time to power up that portable power generator. That is, if you can find one on the shelf of your neighborhood hardware store after multiple power outages here in the Bay Area. These are the two that we have left right now in stock. Here at the Ace Hardware Store in Dublin, Romas Teravitas breaks down how to determine the amount of power needed before purchasing a portable generator because one size doesn't fit all applications. So you're choosing a generator, so what you want to see is that you want to have a little bit of a reference wattage as to what it is, what size you might need to, to get for your home. Your appliance should have a label on it that's telling you what is the running watts on that particular item. If you're having a blender, it typically is using about 300 running watts, and if you're having a coffee maker, it's using 1,500 color watts. So you add up those running watts to determine what size of capacity of a generator you might need. What happens if you overload it? The power generator is not going to be able to have the capacity. It's got a circuit breaker in there, and it will pop the circuit breaker, and you're not going to be able to go anywhere. There are also these dual fuel power generators that have the ability to run on gasoline or propane. The options are, are is a little bit of a, more of a, of a security element that in case you want to switch from one to the other, if you have both of them and something goes out, you have always that propane there that you'll be able to, to use. Power generator experts say to eliminate the possibility of carbon monoxide poisoning or starting a fire, never use a gasoline or propane powered generator inside of your home. Keep it outdoors and at least 25 feet away from doors and windows. You're dealing with the safety of your property, you're dealing with the safety of your home and your family, and it's very important that if you have any questions, check with an expert. In Dublin, Hazik Madyun, Cron4 News.